Hello everybody and today we are going to talk about the other zebra that's not an animal. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Explained and let's delve right in. Now you may have heard of zebras as an included feature either in a camera or a monitor and zebras they are a view assist feature that exists in the form of an overlay. So they appear right over your image and they help you during the exposure of your image. So let me turn on this monitor here. So given the name of zebras they are really easy to identify. So if I turn on zebras here they are already on at 90% and surprise, surprise, they exist as black and white stripes. Now zebras are incredibly easy to understand. When you see zebras appear over a part of your image, it simply means that area of your image is too right. That's all there is to it. You can even stop the video here if you want, but don't because... Now zebras have an adjustable threshold, usually in percentages or IRE values. And 100 is pure white, so if I set the zebras to 100%, then the zebras will only appear over regions of the image that are clipped to pure white. So I can adjust the zebras to be how sensitive I want them to be. So depending on the threshold you set your zebras to, it can appear even before your image is clipped to pure white. Now zebras don't always have to be in black and white. Some manufacturers actually let you change the color of your zebras to a range of colors that suits you best. Although I don't think red and white zebras exist in real life. If you see one, take a picture and send it to me. So zebras really serve more like a warning, alerting you to parts of your image that are too bright or overexposed or almost about to be clipped to pure white. And because zebras appear directly over the problem area, it really takes the guesswork out of the equation, as opposed to say seeing that something's clipped from your histogram. Now of course there are times when you're intentionally overexposing your image or intentionally clipping some whites, then it will make sense to turn zebras off because at that point those bars that are appearing over your image are just gonna annoy you. As far as I know, all Canon DSLRs do not have zebras, so if you're using a camera that does not have zebras, the only way to get them is to either use it with a monitor that does, or if you're on a Canon DSLR, you can install Magic Lantern and that will give you the zebra overlays. Now, although zebras are a very nice feature to have, I do know a lot of cinematographers who prefer the waveform monitor and false color over zebras, but that's a story for another day. So that's my explanation on zebras. Hopefully it was enough to help you understand what zebras are used for. And also this is my first time filming in this setup, so let me know what you think of it. Do let me know as well if you have any suggestions. Any questions, any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. So that's pretty much it for today everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.